welcome to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. And I'm Roger. And welcome to Roger and Esme Vlog. So thank you so much for all your support and generosity in like continuing supporting us in our previous and upcoming vlogs. Um, we really appreciate everything that you do. I hope that you would continue up until um, we have more videos in the next 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 vlogs that we can make. Yes. Yeah, any topic you can also recommend us any topic that we can do. Um, so far, we have only spare time in in the weekend because. In the weekdays, we have work, right? Yes, we're very busy, and yeah, like we said before, that our uh, schedule is really tight. But um, yes. for you guys, we have to manage our um, you know time, time. To, to make videos or yes. uh, to upload videos every day. That's how important you are to us. Yes, and. Uh, well, yeah, once again, we'd like to thank you, uh, especially for our um, subscribers yes. and for those who didn't subscribe yet. So please consider subscribing our channel yes. and you can like and comment, share yes. and recommend us videos that you also like to know um, any topic about the Philippines that you want to know, you're curious or any topic will do, any recommendation. So, so speaking of a topic right yeah. now, and this is like uh, very it's, interesting, right? It's a hot issue actually in the Philippines, and not only in the Philippines, but also other countries too. So the topic for today is, can casual sex turn into a serious relationship? Mm. Wow. <laughs> well, that would be really interesting, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, talk about this, you know, topic. Yet yeah, today. So if you can, you know, if you could share what your experience are when you were young, that yes, would be perfect. That would be perfect as well. So you can share, uh, you can comment down your experiences, you know, during your high school, college days, for sure, you experience this. Yeah. How about you? I have a question for you. Have you ever had casual sex relationship? No. Uh, all of my, you know, um, like girlfriends, like I, I uh, woo them and then turn into like, you know, partners or a serious relationship. Serious relationship. What about you? Uh, me, I, as I said, I only have few, not few boyfriends, but yeah, um, I've, I've experienced like only boyfriends that it, that's not serious. If I can't, can't count them, I think it's more than 20, 20, I think, more than 20 um, that are not like serious, like, you know, like puppy you love. Have, you have, you, you had sex? No, not sex, but um, just puppy love, like, you know, just holding hands. Oh, okay. Yeah, those types of boyfriend, you know, teenage love, but... I actually tried to have sex when I was the age of 22. So I had a late experience. And that was my second boyfriend, serious boyfriend, sec second serious boyfriend before Roger. <laughs> so me, I think um, my first time, I forget the exact, but uh, maybe 17 or 18. She, he was eight, 17 or 18. That, that's still, I think that's a little bit late if they, you yeah. have your first experience, right? For, for Filipinos and Filipinas, yes. that would be for, you know, like, well, now going back to our topic, topic for today. today. So, yeah. once again, uh, this is all about can casual sex uh, turn into a serious relationship? Yeah, is it popular in the Philippines? Yes. Um, yeah, there are instances that it is popular, but it really depends if you're dating a city girl or a province girl. Yeah, there'll be a uh, like comparison between yeah. the two. But let's talk about, let's say, uh, city girl. 
city girls are of course they're practical um they already know what what are the drills of having a relationship an open uh, open relationship right yes and uh, city girl they're like uh, more you know liberated compared to province girl and especially nowadays uh, they're more liberated practical um, as long as they enjoy yeah. that would be the, the start of you know having uh, friends who have benefits yes. right yeah so but I have friends too that they started uh, just like you know friends with benefits and then and um, I get serious yeah they get serious Okay. Then yeah, they're husband and wife right now, so it really happens though. Yeah, which is good. Um, there are different experiences if you find your your love of your life, your eternal partner. Um, but these are actually the most like interesting experience. Like if you have a casual, set, uh, purely no strings attached relationship, then there would be a lot of more interesting things. And there are plenty of different ways to enjoy strictly physical connection with other people. But when it comes to these fleeting run-ins with someone you care about, um, can you turn casual sex into a serious relationship? That's the main topic today. Can you? <laughs> yes. Have you like experienced that or... Um, or you know someone experienced this kind of relationship like uh, they're just like friends with benefits and then they turn into a serious relationship yes comment down below yeah <laughs> well um why have a casual casual like why have a casual sex um mm -hmm. having sex is with someone is it, it actually brings to a new level of excitement with the previous partner that you like you don't share a casual intimacy enables you to have that feeling over over and over again like if you have a partner like especially right now me and roger has been together for six years already and you know that relationship that you have before in like the First beginning of your relationship, it gets you like attachment, attachment, excitement. Connection. Yeah, it not. And the further you have those years together, it's like you're already used to each other, comfortable with each other. Yes, maybe that's a reason why also like some Filipinas, not only Filipinas but also other Fili people, Filipino men that. Uh, they're in a relationship already, but they will try to like. They seek trillman. Yeah, like ex they they want to explore more, right? Yeah, they 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 seek um, excitement. Excitement, connection. Yeah, or, the connection that they or thrill, have, for yeah, example. Yeah, the connection, the thrill that they experience on the first kiss, the first sex, uh, everything. Yeah, they would just like have fun, or they want to have like. Uh, have fun or just enjoying with other, you know. Um, um, which is, I, I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing. But um, if you are already in a serious relationship for a couple of years already, it depends on you if how you spice it up. I guess. Yes. Yeah. Like you, yeah, you still work out or try to work out or both, like. Yes. Even though how for how many years, but the excitement, the connection is still there, right? Yeah, um, definitely that would be like it would take many years to master that, I guess. Um, I don't know, maybe it's how you connect with your partner, I guess. Yes. Yes. Um, when it comes to when it comes to being healthy, on the other hand. Um, many actually studies shows that uh, the people from every generation have partaken like priorities and no strings attached. attached yeah, or hookups, hookups are aren't actually necessarily opposed to full fledged loving relationship, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, for the bottom line, it depends on the person. 
Um, definitely, I would say that if casual sex activity doesn't violate the moral code of that person, person integrity, the commitments you have for yourself, I guess um, you don't have actually any problem with that as long as um, there's no you're not bending the rules, I guess. Or yeah, or if as long as you're not married and all you need to do is to have fun, you don't want commitments and all, or responsibility, I think that would be the ideas of, you know, or the mindset of being practical that, uh, okay, I don't want to be committed now, so all I need to do is to enjoy or maybe have, like, friends with benefits. Well, yeah, uh, here in the Philippines is, uh, yeah, that, that would be common, especially for, like, uh, we just discussed a while ago, yes. city girl, right? Because yeah. they're more liberated. All they need to do is to enjoy. They don't want commitments. Yeah, most of the time, yes. Um, they they just want to have that leisure time with you, I guess. Yes, and other thing as well, how to take casual sex to another the next level. level or another level. Um, I would say it really depends on the person because there are people that re- just really want to have casual sex. Um, they don't want to have that serious relationship because once they have that serious relationship with them, um, it would it did it it would not give that same thrill that they like in casual sex. Yes. So it depends on the person that you have a relationship with and no strings attached. Because if that person would also be interested in taking it to the next level, that's actually easy for you. But if that person doesn't want to take it from the next level, yeah, um, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, like we said earlier that uh, if you're in a like currently friends with benefits to your yes. partner can be you know confusing to, to voice your desires or something right yeah that's true um it's like cooking something <laughs> yeah if you try to put salt too much um that it ends up that you can't eat it anymore <laughs> yes <laughs> and if you you don't put in the right spice it would be blunt. So Correct. you really need to know your next step before doing anything else. Your first step before anything else. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I guess the bottom line with this, it, it still it really depends on the person because uh, there, there will be uh, like a type of person that they like consider earlier, uh, they don't want commitment, Yes. And that this person also, uh, she or he wants uh, also commitment. So it yeah. really depends. That's the reason why you need to uh, pay close attention to their actions. Yes. Actions, and, their, um, how they connect with you, how they communicate. You would feel that as a person. Yes. I guess you, well, all of you know because you, if you're much older than we are, you, you've been to those uh, those scenarios, those experience already. Yes, and that is why also that in the relationship you need to um, like go into a serious relationship directly. You need to know the person uh, well, like for for how many months or maybe years, in order for for you guys to to situate that you both have this connection. Yes, that's true. But for me. Um, I don't work out with casual relationships. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes, I think that's all for today's video. And you can share. You can share your experience if you have experience too. Just comment down, and uh, we will love to read that. And also, um, yeah, you can also suggest any topics for the next video. Yes. So again, thank you so much for your support, for all the love. Thank you, thank you so much. And I hope you continue supporting us in the next following vlogs. So peace yeah. out. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.